We milk with a voluntary milking system. We have two VMSs, one on each side of our barn. One of the things we really like about the system is that it's probably about as close to nature for the cows as we can get. I mean, the cows choose when they eat, they choose when they sleep, they choose when they milk. One thing about cows you have to understand, cows are very, very routine and they don't like any surprises. Their expectations of everything is status quo, like nothing changes, their diet doesn't change, you know, the feed's there when they want it, that robot's there when they want it. That's how they like to live. If you look at the cows, they're so comfortable, they're happy. When a cow goes in to get milked, the previous cow ahead of her is released, the door opens, the cow goes in immediately, the, uh, the VMS IDs the cow with an RFID transponder in her ear, and they ID the cow, and then the cow is pre-programmed how much candy, grain she can get when it's in there and starts to feed the cow, helps her relax. Then in our system, the, the cows are, are dipped with a, a spray, a disinfectant spray before they're washed. Then there's a dedicated wash cup that cleans all the quarters, takes a strip of milk out of each quarter and dries each quarter and then they're individually attached and, and milked. water and waste milk goes down the drain. So after the cow is prepared, the arm of the robot, and, and it's a titanium arm that's dedicated to attaching the separate teat cups for the quarters, will grab one teat cup specific to each quarter, find, it, find the teat with a laser, position itself, and attach the teat cup to each quarter of the cow. And then there's a, there's a pulsation system which you know has been determined what's best for the cows in the pulsation rest and milk phase that gently massages the milk from the cows until we're down to a certain flow rate and then it detaches from the cow, dips them again for, for sanitary reasons and releases the cow. We have so much data about what they're producing, it's, it's unbelievable. The robot remembers everything. Through um, its algorithms it decides how much milk that cow should actually have in each quarter in the hole and so if it ever happens that a cow overproduces or underproduces we get alarms on our phone and says like oh go check this cow it's always monitoring the animals because that can be an indication of the cow having a health issue i think in every system uh, in across canada milk quality that's something we hold very precious we pride ourselves that our milk across canada is of the best quality